Last year, Eugene Levy was on The Morning Show talking about his new travel show, The Reluctant Traveler, and now he's back for season two. Morgan Hoffman, I don't know if she reluctantly traveled to L.A. <laughs> or not, but she did to sit down with Eugene, and not a surprise here, Morgan. Well, see, you're laughing already, I, but the <laughs>, laughs were abundant with Eugene, as always. I cannot tell you how much I geeked out with Eugene Levy. It was my first time meeting him. He's an icon. I was kind of, like, excited, nervous. So for season one, you know, he went all over the world, Tokyo, South Africa, Venice, Costa Rica, and then in season two, it's all about Europe. But as we're talking about Europe, I just happened to ask him, you know, what's been one of your most uh, memorable family trips? And he told a story that I couldn't stop giggling at, and it involves Dan Levy crying. Take a look. Okay. Last season, I saw the world in a new light. Now I'm back on the road and taking on Europe. 47 different kinds of mosquitoes. Now I'm really excited about this trip. Do you find you're any less of a reluctant traveler after season two? I am a little less reluctant, but, but you know, if you were to ask me where in the world now are you really dying to get to, I'd say I, there, there's no place I'm really dying to get to. Okay. <laughs> it, so that in itself is still pulling me back to, yeah. you know, the reluctant side. But there's a lot about the art of traveling mm -hmm. that I'm now you know, kind of um, getting off on. Is there anything that you've done that has surprised yourself? Listen, I've got a fear of heights. I, I you know, I, I, I was in a helicopter. I did it. I, I went on that uh, hanging bridge in Costa Rica. I was in a night hike uh, in the jungle in Costa Rica that I didn't really want to go on. And I kept saying, do we have to do this? I don't, really don't want to do this. Really don't want it. Mm, well, could be good. Could be interesting. Uh, oh, I think you can, I think, says David. Okay, so you play a big role in exactly. getting this guy to do all these things. Yes, yes, yes. You want to give an elephant a rectal? Well, I, you know, I don't know whether I can. Oh, I think you can. Continue to test my limits. Look at me, no hands. And give my family tree a shake. That's a workout. Luckily, I've got air conditioning. What was that like for you getting to learn more about your family history? Well, it connected in a way that surprised me, in a way when I was there, because I'd never been to Scotland, never really had a desire to go to Scotland before, even though my mother was from Scotland. But when we got to Glasgow, where she was from, um, it really kind of, I, I kind of felt it. It just kind of came over me. Um, uh, kind of being there where she not only was born, but yeah. where she grew up for the first 12 years of her life, you know? Because um, all I'd heard was stories. Mm -hmm. um, but um, it, was, it was pretty amazing. You know, when you think of all the traveling that you've done in your life, is there a family trip with your kids that stands out? Um, well, we went to, um, Barbados uh, once on a, on a trip that, uh, went to a place that was recommended, a little, little kind of resort, and we, uh, we got there. Daniel was about a, maybe nine, mm -hmm. and Sarah was six, and we get to this, uh, resort, and it was a dive. <laughs> <laughs> it was a dive and we walk get to our room and there's a there's a there's a uh, um, a garbage uh, bin right outside the room and we walk into the room and there's an orange shag rug <laughs> and Daniel starts to cry oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he knew and i went right to the phone book and yeah. looked up the uh, Hilton and then called the Hilton. Any rooms available? <laughs> okay, that's great. And then we walked out with our suitcases again, and the guy at the front desk was saying, oh, is there any, you're going? I said, no, we're just, we're just going out for a walk. <laughs> and that we just, we, and we paid. We never went back, never got yeah. our money back, nothing. Oh. I, we just left and went to the hotel. And it was better. That was memorable. Okay. <laughs> And that is an amazing story. 30 years later, he's a travel show host. I so. know, look at that. <laughs> That's it. I can pick out a dive now. I'll tell you what's a dive before I get there. <laughs>
Such a great story, and obviously that trip was long before we could go online and get travel reviews. Oh, right? uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, with Dan was uh, aide, and so it was just really nice him opening up about his family there. But it's so funny. He makes it very clear off the top of the, the my interview and also just when he was doing press for season one, like he didn't really think this is a good idea because he really doesn't like traveling. He's not making this up. Um, but he keeps getting told, okay, now you're going to go do this, now you're going to go do this. And that's what makes it so watchable is he's so funny because he honestly doesn't like traveling, which, yeah. which you would think this would be a horrible experiment of a show, but it, it makes it so fun. He's so endearing in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, proof, too, that Dan had a real sense of style even early on. Oh, he knew. Right? Yeah, orange yeah. head carpet. Yeah. That's a big no for yeah. Dan. Uh, so you can catch season two of The Reluctant Traveler streaming now on Apple TV+. Plus. I highly recommend it. Awesome. Thanks, Morgan.